Julia, very good afternoon. Good to have you with us as always. Let's talk about this particular study. First of all, it's not the only study in the, on this particular subjects of supplements, especially vitamin C and D. Why do you think there's more focus now and you know, these kind of studies taking place at the present moment? Yes, Tony. Um, I think the reason that there is more focus on these kind of studies and the look at um, nutrients and supplementation to support the bodies because there is no vaccine available at the moment and people are dying and there are other ways that we can use to support our bodies and stay strong and well and give our immune system a fighting chance against these viruses and bacteria. So reality is not just one thing, you know, vaccines and medication. There are so many other possibilities and supplementations, especially vitamins C and D, are really proven scientifically to optimize the immune system. And this study that you mentioned, Tony, which was done by the Linus Pauling Institute in Oregon State University, it showed implicitly that when the body is nutrient, um, uh, when it has a good supply of nutrients, like the ones you mentioned, the immune system functions optimally. And they are not just nice to have supplements, like the ones you mentioned, they're actually essential in the functioning of the immune system. And we know when your immune system is strong, your body is able to detect foreign things like viruses and bacteria, COVID-19 virus, and then zap them before they have a chance to establish themselves in your body and wreak havoc. And this is great news because this is something that every single one of us can do for ourselves. Now, just, I want to just now, you know, focus on vitamin C and D because that's what the study really focuses on here. Uh, when it comes to vitamin C, a Chinese study also found that uh, the patients uh, that were treated with high doses of vitamin C, none of those patients were reported to have died. What does vitamin C do? Vitamin C is a nutrient that has so many functions in the body. It actually is important for generating, for repairing and maintaining the integrity of cells in the body. It's vital to make antibodies, to help make antibodies, which the body uses to fight viruses and bacteria. It's also amazing in wound healing, in the formation of collagen, um, in making sure that every single cell in the body functions optimally. And because vitamin C is water soluble, when you take vitamin C, it doesn't last that long in the body, especially if you take it orally. And so you need to be sure that you take a good quality, like the liposomal form of vitamin C. This is vitamin C that is packaged in a certain way that it's got little fat molecules all around it. And this guarantees that it's absorbed well and also that it stays in the body for a longer period of time. So in that way, your body has a good chance of really maximizing the use of um, the intake of vitamin C to do all the wonderful things that it does in your body. And vitamin D also, um, especially in the spray form, has been shown to support immune function. And it actually, it's been shown in various studies, it switches on various genes that are involved in creating certain proteins called peptides, which have antimicrobial activity. So again, it's not just, you know, woo woo and you sort of just take a supplement if you feel like it. Yeah. It's actually really important. Now, uh, Julia, I can sit here and say, listen, okay, you know, my immune system is fine. I can go maybe have a couple of oranges for my vitamin C, sit in the sun a bit for vitamin D. Why should I then go and take supplements? Why do I need more? You're absolutely right, Tony. I agree with you. Food is your medicine. We have free sunshine. We don't need anything. However, that's in the ideal world, in utopia, okay? We've got everything we need from nature. However, in the real world, we realize that our food is often not nutrient rich because the quality of the soil that it's grown in is not nutrient rich. A lot of our fruits and vegetables, especially our fruit, is picked before they are ripe. And also there's mass production of food, especially in the cities, to be able to supply enough people. And so you find the soil quality isn't good and therefore the food is not nutrient dense. Also, many of us spend a lot of time indoors. Do we actually 
take time to sit in the sun for at least 15 minutes a day, uh, sort of before 11 is a good time, to get that vitamin D into our bodies. So if you do all of that, great. If you have organic food, nutrient rich, wonderful. But the reality is that many of us don't. And so there is a place for supplementation. It's not the be all and end all, but it certainly has a role to play, especially when we um, have lives that don't always allow us to eat optimally and to spend time in the sun. All right, well said. Thank you so much, uh, pharmacist and health expert Julia Chris Kohler, uh, talking about that study that shows that vitamin C and D and other nutrients uh, are vital to the fight to counter COVID-19. They do help your immune system. That is according to a new study.